We LL talk about proteins, quantity, quality, understand how to take it, so what is protein? Everyone when we talk about proteins we immediately think of muscle mass because effectively, muscle mass is made of actin and of myosin which are amino acids contained in the prostheses. But this is not only that, the skin of those seriously burned by example, they are put on, diets hyperprotein so as to heal faster the tendons and ligaments, hormones are made up by protein. So protein is very important not only for building or maintaining muscle bueno. skin, but she is also extremely important for recovery. You can't recover without a good intake protein. So what is good quality protein? What are compounds the proteins? Proteins are composed of 20 amino acids. Eight of these 20 amino acids are said to be essential. That is to say that the body cannot produce by itself. Out of these eight amino acids, three amino acids BCAA are amino acids that initialize the analog signal that triggers the building muscle mass. In these three amino acids, one is particularly important is the leucine, we know that a minimum of leucine, with every meal to trigger the analog signal to trigger the muscle building. So what is a quality protein? It's rich in many amino acids since a protein which is rich in amino acids essential, it is a protein which is to build muscle mass. We have need all the components of muscle mass if some are missing of the components, then the construction becomes difficult. Good protein, it is also a protein that contains enough leucine. Finally a good one protein is a protein that digests well and will then be able to be transported down to the muscles to be used in part of building muscle, so generally the best proteins are animal proteins, of course we have seen where we have observed only with a good diet. We had vegetarians who could achieve results terms of equivalent hypertrophy or even, sometimes superior to people who had a compound diet mostly animal protein but this request most of the time, more work and more details in the composition of his meals One of key components of protein is what is called the protein balance Protein balance is the difference between Had a compound diet mostly animal protein but this request most of the time More work and more details in the composition of his meals One of key components of protein is what is called the protein balance Protein balance is the difference between The big gradation of proteins which takes place permanently since and constantly the body is in the process of Renew the skin the tissues hair etc the muscles and the protein synthesis what we see Is that just after a meal and a increased protein synthesis and then gradually there is The degradation that takes place on the protein balance falls below once in the context of the conservation of muscle mass as part of a increase in muscle mass To have a scale of protein source to each of these meal we will try to divide the day between 3 and 6 meals Scientific literature recommends today between 1.6 and 2.2 grams per kilogram of body weight 2 proteins a day. The simple element to remember. It's 2 kg you must absorb in a day 150 grams of protein is 150 grams will be divided into the number of meals you have in the day and the number of times you eat during the day between 3 and 6 times once you brought enough protein 2 grams per kilogram of body weight that you have divided this contribution protein in the number of meals you have in the day you already have does most of the work you can then make sure you have at each meal about 2 to 3 grams of the austin in order to austin in order to trigger the analog signal attention small flat however these data are for their people who want to keep muscle mass that are active that wish to develop their mass muscle that probes between 10 and 20% of body fat for men.